medical equipment in their uses blood pressure machine also known as sphygmomanometer it's used in measuring the pressure of blood in the blood vessels it's recorded in millimeters of mercury the image we have here is a digital sphig it's automated and gives a pulse reading these are the two types of manual sphygmomanometer a is the mercury sphig and b is the aneroid sphig a stethoscope is needed to listen for a reading. Nebulizer. It turns liquid medication into aerosol or mist, which is then inhaled through a mouthpiece or mask. It's mostly used in asthmatics. Patient monitor. It's used for continuous measurement of patient's parameters such as heart rate and rhythm, respiratory rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen saturation, etc. in critically ill patients. Suction machine, also known as aspirator. It's used for removing obstructions such as mucus, saliva, blood or secretions from a person's airway that is the nose and mouth thermometer it's used to measure body temperature that is the degree of hotness or coolness it's measured in celsius or fahrenheit a is the infrared thermometer b is the digital c is the mercury the infrared thermometer is able to assess the temperature without body contact Pulse oximeter. It measures the oxygen saturation of your red blood cells along with your heart rate. It can be attached to the fingers, ears, toes or nose. Glucometer. It's used to measure the concentration of glucose, that is a type of sugar in your blood. It's expressed as millimole per liter or milligram per deciliter. Weighing scale. It's used to measure the weight of a person or object. It's expressed in kilograms, which is kg, or pounds, which is LB. Pediatric weighing scale. It's used to measure the weight of babies and toddlers up to 25 kg. A is the infant scale and B is the hanging spring scale. Wheelchair. It's used when walking becomes difficult or impossible due to illness, injury or disability. It can either be manually or power driven. Stethoscope. It's used to auscultate, that is, listen to sounds in the body, mainly sounds made in the heart, lungs, and abdomen. Bedpan. It's used for the toileting needs of patients confined to bed. Urinal. It's used to collect urine in a patient who has difficulty or has been restricted from leaving their bedside to the bathroom. A is the female urinal and B is the male urinal. The mouth of the urinal is designed according to the shape of the female and male genital respectively. Kidney dish, also known as receiver. It's used to receive salt dressings or other medical waste. Gallipots. It's used to hold antiseptic solution. Ambubag or bag valve mask. It's a handheld device used to force air into the lungs. That is positive pressure ventilation when one is not breathing or breathing ineffectively. Oxygen cylinder. 
It's a tank used to store oxygen, which is then dispensed using an oxygen delivery device such as nasal prongs, simple face masks, etc. Non-rebreather mask. It's a non-invasive device used to deliver 10 to 15 liters per minute of oxygen to a patient breathing spontaneously. Simple face max. It's a non-invasive device used to deliver 6 to 10 liters per minute of oxygen to a patient breathing spontaneously. Nasal cannula or nasal prongs. It's a non-invasive device used to deliver 1 to 5 liters per minute of oxygen to a patient breathing spontaneously. Disposable gloves. It's a personal protective equipment worn to protect the health worker and all patients from the spread of microorganisms or other potentially harmful substances. Sterile gloves. It's a type of disposable glove used for sterile procedures such as wound dressing, surgeries and any invasive procedure. Tonique. It's used to apply pressure to the arms to assess and determine the location of a suitable vein for venipancha. Stretcher. It's used to transport patients with inability or difficulty moving for medical attention. Reflex hammer or patella hammer. It's used to test for deep tendon reflexes in neurological examination. Drip stand or IV stand. It's a pole on which infusions are hanged. Most have wheels at the base to allow for patients' movements while infusing. Defibrillator. It's used to analyze the heart's rhythm and deliver an electric shock to restore the heart's rhythm to normal. It's mostly used during CPR. Ultrasound machine. It's used to visualize internal organs of the body. The machine uses high frequency sound waves to show structures inside the body. It does not use radiation, hence it's safe for use in pregnancy. Dressing surely. It's used to provide an organized space for work. Example, during wound dressing and surgical and general procedures. It's also used to transport supplies. Pain touch. It's primarily used to assess pupil response. It produces a focused beam of light, which makes examination of the eyes, ears, nose and throat easier. Tuning fork. It's used to assess hearing. If hearing loss is indicated, it can be used to determine whether the loss is conductive. That is, if there is a problem with transmitting sound waves to the inner ear or sensorineural, that is, if it's nerve-related. Ophthalmoscope. It's a handheld device used to examine the back of the eye, that is the fundus. Snelling chart. It's an eye chart used to measure your visual acuity, that is the clarity and sharpness of your vision. 2020 vision is normal vision. It means that from a distance of 20 feet from the chart, you can clearly see the letters that should be seen at that distance. Otoscope. 
It's a handheld device which provides illuminated magnification to help visualize and examine the ear canal and eardrum. Basically, it lights up and magnifies your ear canal so that it can be examined. Electrocardiogram or ECG. It shows your heart's rhythm and electrical activity as a graph displayed either electronically or printed on paper. Syringe pump or perfuser. It's used to deliver continuous small amounts of medications, mostly intravenous, at a precise rate. Tongue depressor or spatula. It's a disposable tool used for depressing the tongue to examine the mouth and throat. Cardiac table. It's an overbed table placed in front of the patient while they are in the sitting up position. Patients who can lean forward can rest on it with a pillow. It can also be used for meals, writing, and other self-care activities. Crash cart. It's used to store and transport life-saving supplies and equipment to the scene of a cardiac or respiratory emergency in a medical setting. Ventilator it's a machine that partially or completely takes over the work of breathing, that is, ventilation, when one's breathing is inadequate to sustain life. It's a form of life support. This is a ventilator in use via an endotracheal tube, also known as ET tube. So that's the end of our lesson. Well done. You can take a few minutes to test your knowledge. You can pause the video to answer the questions.